Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. If you haven't seen part one of our Talamina Scenic Drive adventure, I'll put a link in the description so you can click on it and go back and watch that part first. In this adventure, we are headed toward Talamina Scenic Drive to make the loop there. But on the way, we also took some detours on a few dirt roads and explored the color along those roads. And that part is on the previous video. In this video, we actually go to the Talamina Drive. We start it from the Mina side. And the Talamina Scenic Drive is a national scenic byway in southeastern Oklahoma and extreme western Arkansas, spanning a 54-mile stretch of Oklahoma State Highway 1 and Arkansas Highway 88 from Tallahena, Oklahoma to Mena, Arkansas, or if you're going the way we did, Mena, Arkansas to Tallahena, Oklahoma. But on the Oklahoma side, we ended up taking a detour and rode some dirt roads to finish out our loop on the Tallahena Scenic Drive. That part will be at the very end of this video. We had a great time exploring this area. The colors are beautiful and not just on the Talamina Scenic Drive. The colors are beautiful all over the area. So be sure to check out the Washita's south of Mina, which is where we went through a couple of roads. And check out Onyx Off-Road because the roads we were on are mapped on Onyx Off-Road. And several of those are mapped by us. So check out Onyx. Good app for all your off-road needs. This scenic drive is known for its spectacular views. Designated by the United States Department of Transportation as an official national scenic byway, the Talamina Drive was built specifically to highlight the area's beautiful foliage and spans one of the highest mountain ranges between the Appalachians and the Rockies. Nestled in the heart of Oklahoma's Choctaw Country, view one stunning panorama after another as you travel along crest of forested peaks between Tallahena, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. There's thousands of visitors during the fall season to view amazing fall foliage stretching as far as I can see. With vibrant shades of red and gold, the forest slopes surrounding Talamina Drive make this scenic byway an autumn hotspot and regional crown jewel. Numerous viewpoints and scenic turnoffs along the Talamina Drive provide visitors with spectacular views of the fall color change. Stop at one of 22 designated vistas along the route and take advantage of the route's interpretive signage. Talamina also makes a beautiful drive in spring, witness as the surrounding forest comes alive with green after a winter slumber. Be sure to stop at some of the area's most popular destinations, including Talamina State Park, the Washita National Forest, and the Cedar Lake Recreation Area, enjoying outdoor activities like hiking, backpacking, mountain biking, horseback riding, and more, which are available year-round. Talahina, known as the village between the mountains. Talahina is a town rich in history and natural beauty, full of romantic cafes, delightful antique shops, and historic inns. And no matter what time of year you visit, driving the Talamina National Scenic Byway is always a breathtaking experience. The Talamina National Scenic Byway Twist and turns along Rich Mountain in Arkansas, climbing from 1,100 feet in Mena to almost 2,700 feet at the summit before plunging into Oklahoma through the Winding Stair Mountains. There's so much beauty, it's nearly impossible to experience it all in one ride. The Oklahoma border is some 20 miles from Mena, a few miles past Queen Wilhelmina State Park. The remaining miles on the Oklahoma side are packed with the same turns, elevation changes, and picturesome views as Arkansas, 
Most overlooks have a plaque with information about the region. From an 1832 military road cut through with the trees connecting Fort Smith, Arkansas and Fort Townsend, Oklahoma to white oak trees less than 10 feet tall because of the relentless wind at the top of Rich Mountain. The area is rich with stories. Then the ride comes at the intersection of US 271 with the closed park ranger station on the left. Now we did detour onto a gravel road and cut off east from the Oklahoma side of the Talamina Scenic Drive and drove a skinny gravel road until we came back out on asphalt and headed back toward home. Now, Mina isn't a big town, but there's plenty to explore. The Mina Depot Museum is an excellent place to start. It's within walking distance of antique stores and art galleries. Of course, Queen Wilhelmina State Park, called Arkansas's Castle in the Clouds, has a lodge at Queen Wilhelmina State Park, and it's the third since its founding in 1893, named for the Queen of the Netherlands. The lodge has 40 rooms, a restaurant, and a conference room for large groups. The park includes 41 campsites, numerous hiking trails, and plenty of activities for the whole family. All right, we're on Talamina Scenic Drive. We just come up from that way there, from Mina. Pretty busy. Checking out the fall colors. And there is some color. Stopped right here to have a nice view while we ate some McDonald's that we got while we was in Mina. And we're gonna continue along the route and see what kind of colors we have up here. This is an area that's both mysterious and beautiful, with tales of Old West robbers, a ghost that maintains a lonely vigil on top of a mountain, and even the Queen of the Netherlands. The history and legends of the western half of the Washitals, along with their beautiful scenery and ecotourism opportunities, are connected by the Talamina Scenic Drive. The paid road was built using federal highway funds between 1965 and 1969 and follows a historic route of earlier Civilian Conservation Corps roads. The CCC developed the Washita National Forest during the Great Depression and had built truck trails across the mountains. The two ends of the scenic drive are located in the main Arkansas and at its intersection with U.S. Highway 271 on the northern edge of Tallahena, Oklahoma, the unique Tallahena name created by combining the names of the two cities. The drive could be completed without stopping in under two hours, but stopping to enjoy the scenery and historic sites is what the Tallahena Scenic Driveway is all about. Some of the more interesting along the Oklahoma section of the drive include the Old Military Road Historic Site, where historical markers point out the trace of the U.S. Army Road that once connected Fort Smith and Fort Townsend. Of course, Horse Thief Spring, where Old West outlaws once found shelter and water in Winding Stair National Recreation Area. Worth noting is the fact that this area is rumored to be the home of the Oklahoma Bigfoot. Numerous eyewitnesses over the years have reported seeing a strange hairy man-like creature roaming the woods and ridges. Proof, however, has been elusive. Along the Arkansas side of the border, the drive passes sites including the border monument site, where an iron monument was placed to mark the divide between the United States and the Choctaw Nation, Rich Mountain Cemetery, a pioneer burial place known for its legend of the ghost of Rich Mountain and Queen Wilhelmina State Park. 
there's lots to see as you make your adventure along this route and there's several dirt roads that you can turn off and explore. So on this journey, we are in the 21 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. And I haven't really done much of any upgrades other than the tires and the rack on the roof so I can haul extra gear. And of course, I have the typical uh, set power refrigerator and uh, power station in the back, along with some of our other camping, cooking gear, stuff like that. And I really haven't needed anything else uh, with the airlift, which I have not had any issues with so far. Uh, with the push of the button, I can achieve a little over 11 inches of ground clearance. And the tires that I have on there are about 31.56 inches tall. So, you know, I'm under 32 inches, which uh, the stuff that we do so far, uh, that's plenty to get us where we need to go. When we're not on the road, the, when we're not on the gravel roads or the trails, and we're on the pavement, the Grand Cherokee Trailhawk is super comfortable. It's a great ride. It handles great. It's got plenty of power. And... Even with the rack on top, by the time we got home on this trip, I averaged uh, 20, over 20 miles to the gallon. So that's pretty good. The Grand Cherokee is a decent sized vehicle. Each vehicle we have had, we always take it on the Talamina Scenic Driveway. So this will be the first time that the Grand has driven the Talamina Scenic Drive. So it's pretty cool. Before this, we had the uh, 21 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk, and it too has made the loop. And I really like that vehicle too, but I do prefer the Grand because of the extra room and extra towability. And don't forget, as I mentioned before, we do turn off of the scenic drive and take a dirt road uh, eastern. I'd say southeastern until we hit a uh, highway again and then it takes us on back home through Arkansas. The Grand handled everything we threw at it with these and when I get home I'll get it cleaned up and ready to do it again. We're definitely going to find some more stuff to explore so stay tuned for those videos to come. I do realize this is a long video and I hope that there is enough information in this video to let you know that if you want to see colors, you need to hurry up and get up there quickly because I don't think the colors are going to last long. But we appreciate you watching and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we ask that you click the subscribe button real quick. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything and it helps us out a lot. We appreciate you watching and spending time with us and hope you can get out and make this scenic drive yourself. And don't forget to make some turns on some dirt roads and see where they lead you. You might find some stuff that's pretty amazing like we did. Don't forget to check out the first video. Pretty awesome places we passed on those dirt roads. Again, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video and get out and make your own adventures.
Thank you. 